We have Red Dave Cook, the Franco painting and wallpaper. So here's a video for you. We're finishing up today, actually, which I know, it's a weekend, but we're trying to get this thing done. So we took on a project of restaining cherry cabinets. Uh, so these were kind of uh, water damage, worn and torn. Uh, this is another cherry cabinet I'm working on. These are getting painted, but you can kind of see the difference in the two. There's a definite difference in, even in the wood, but the stain itself, I'm assuming this is just a typical cherry stain. Over cherry, it could be maple, but I think this is cherry. Um, once you strip it, you know. Anyway, so we did, <laughs> this turned out to be a lot more complicated than we thought. Uh, this is an older cherry door. It's about 25 years old. Uh, the people that made the door went out of business, so we thought we had the stain. Come to find out we did not have the stain because it was solid. We thought we had the glaze, and the glaze was not the same as what they said it was either. So then we had a just have a lot of fun, for lack of a better word, of matching stain. So it was kind of unique where Sherwin-Williams could match one part of it, but they couldn't get the, the glaze part of it because of colors. Benjamin Moore, J.C. Lick, they couldn't get the, the red part of it, but they could get the green part of it. So we used both. So we used Sherwood, and we matched the color. We used the backside so it wasn't glazed. So that's how we got the red color of everything. And then we just took this same color, basically, and added some green to it. So we just kind of played around with colors, and we just kind of waited. It took several times, there's another video on this, of kind of the process of it. So it took several times to get it. We finally got it. Um, and then this is the final door, and we have two coats of Modern Masters Fast Drying Polyurethane on here. Um, so they turned out, I think they turned out great. If we were to do something like this again, definitely wouldn't charge the same amount of money. Uh, it was good for a learning experience. I hadn't stained cabinets in a long time. But if we did it again, it'd probably be about 200 bucks a piece that we would do these for. It took a lot longer to get the same, the finish off and the color off to restain. Um, and then the matching it was a real pain in the butt. Uh, we redid, I don't know how many backs of doors. I think it was eight different doors that we ended up staining, stripping, staining, stripping to get the colors. So from that aspect, we did it again. I don't think I would go matching a color. I would bring samples on a piece of wood and here's the color you have to choose from. That'd be the better way for us to do it. It'd be quicker and easier. Uh, and then the oil is always a pain in the butt to work with. Um, it was really hard to actually to get the fast drying polyurethane. Um, everybody seemed to be out of it. So that's kind of another issue. Uh, I'd love to be able to use some of the wiping stains that are um, the hybrids, but no one really had the colors that we could use. So a little bit of trick. So if we re redo these, we'd probably charge about 200 bucks a door to redo them. Um, the other alternative is I would really love to have someone have cherry cabinets, even like this one we're painting white. I would love the job, cherry cabinets that we could strip and put clear. I think that'd be a really cool looking kitchen. But who knows, if you have something like that and want to give us a call, we'll give you a good, great price for us to try it out. Hopefully you like it. <laughs> anyway, so that is our story of uh, re-staining cherry cabinets with a glaze. Um, I don't know. If you got questions, you give us a call. I'm looking forward to getting this one back up, um, getting it on there. Customers so far are really in, in happy with the results. So they're happy. We are happy. Um, and we'll talk to you soon. Hope you have a great day. God bless.